get them over here. Oh, shit. He golded it. I think he can get it out. Probably could. He's not bleeding yet anyway, so he's fine. Yeah, no, it's just not hooking to kill or anything. Thank God. He's yeah. bleeding, just come back in the water. Big deal, he's fine. I'm just try 16. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Alright. Skinny. Explain what's going on, Kenny. Just casting out the uh, stink leech, leech, stick bait, and plucking these guys around these weed beds down here. Nice. Yeah, we're fishing post frontal out here. Fish are very inactive. This fish hit Kenny's little four inch stick. Kenny missed. Let it sit there again. Boom. Same fish came back. Not hitting very strong today, so Kenny's downsizing. I'm trying to figure out if I can get a top water thing going, but I think they're all hunkered down on the bottom. Kenny has a nice one hook, probably the nicest one thus far today. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no. Uh. That was 18 at least. That's at least. Here we are, we're leaving this first lake because we did not catch a whole lot. Uh, maybe 20 fish between the two of us. It's not one of our better days out here. Fish are very sluggish. So we're going to the next little lake on the list. One that also doesn't get fished the whole lot. Shortly after 2 o'clock. Um, Kenny, Kenny and I were going on an expedition here. Kind of on the li along the lines of Lewis and Clark. Uh, we have to get through that little culvert go maybe a half a mile down this little 10 foot wide stream and then we'll run into a lake that allegedly has big fish in it so that's the plan fishing exploring fishing places we have never been to before and luckily we have all the ammunition that we need the mud puddler let's see how it goes Lewis and Clark Wow We are crazy bastards. We have a pretty good, good, pretty good idea of what we're about to encounter here. The lake that we're gonna fish is around 50 acres. Um, slappy conditions, meaning a lot of weed, weeds and vegetation. Hoping for some bass, um, pike. There's some muskies in there from what I've been told and heard. So, I have no idea how long Kenny's going to be walking me through here. But, if it gets deeper, he'll hop in then and I'll, uh... We can probably go with the troller now if we wanted to. Yeah. 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 Kenny almost sank in. Let's, let's back this fun bus, uh... Uh, oh Jesus! That's just all detritus. I know. <laughs> we are crazy today. It's better be worth it. In fact, it already is. We're fishing uncharted territory. I bet you that no one ever fishes this lake. Like we said, we're out of our minds completely right now. That's what it's all about to the promised land. A little island here in the middle, and there's Kenny, and here's the lake. About 50 something acres, and our channel is right there. Our passage to get back. The secret spot lake, Lewis and Clark Lake. Kenny just caught one bass, I caught another one earlier. We're throwing uh, traps, or I mean uh, chatter baits and spinner baits down this whole shore. So, popping a few, getting some nice strong hits. We'll keep working this lake. 
Oh, Kenny and I only caught a, one bass a piece, one pike, a couple other hits, but otherwise nothing. Troller batteries are about to die, so that's why we're heading in. I'm eventually going to be back out here again sometime very soon. I don't know when, but seems like a pretty nice lake. Definitely should have hooked up the spare six horse motor. This way we could probably be out here a little longer, but I'm not gonna force it. So hopefully we have enough juice to get back to the vehicle. And now we go through the stream. What do you think, Caddy? You stock your leg. Hmm? Stock your leg. You think so? I don't know. We'll be back here again. Why it's a nice lake. A couple houses on it. Seems like very maybe nobody even fishes it, which is even better. So Alright, time for the next spot. See you later. This looks like a film from a horror like a scene from a horror film. We're motoring through a tunnel.